Welcome to the Unfiltered by Jade, where we get out of the box and dive into topics that are sidelined. I look forward to entertain, educate, and inspire. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, donate, and make everybody know about this. Welcome to the Unfiltered by Jade. We're here another Tuesday again, and I am here with someone to speak to you about fitness after childbirth. And it's, it's not an interesting topic. I've had many persons who have had kids or a child and they want to know tips or they want to get an idea of what to do afterwards to get back in shape. So I'm going to bring her in. Hi. Hello, Jade. How are you doing? I'm all right. All right. So I want you to tell the listeners your name and tell them a little bit about you before we dive in. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Sharika. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to give my last name. <laughs> um, Go ahead. Uh-huh. Huh? No, I was going to say, well, I mean, I'm in the Army. Um, and as you mentioned before, you know, getting back into fitness with after having a child. So I do have a Six months going on seven month old son. So Woo, congrats on that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So it's, it's a process. <laughs> yes, it is a process. All right. So let's dive right into it. So how long after childbirth did you start the fitness journey? Um for me, who uh I started I wanna say it was like after maybe twenty weeks. Because I had a C-section, so I had to wait mm. a longer before I could actually yeah. get back into working out. Um, mm. Honestly, it, it kind of just depends on, like, what your doctor would tell you. So mine mm-hmm. told me, and it's a regular thing for, you know, cesarean, that you'd have to wait at least 12 weeks before you could start working out. But mm. I started at okay, 18. Okay. Cause I started at 18 because I, I was having some pain so I didn't mm-hmm. start right away oh okay okay yeah because if it is that you started right away with that pain it mm-hmm. could cause more more harm to your body than... exactly exactly okay all right what was the motivating factor behind why you started it so I was actually working out before um I had my son like I said before I'm in the army so physical fitness is one of the top priorities and um going back in they expect you to start working out once you get back from uh maternity leave so motivational wise for me it's just me it's a personal thing for myself to be fit Mm -hmm. but it also it's also required from my job basically um oh okay okay I guess it's because of what comes with the job. You have to be fit. So they do require you. They do have that requirement that, okay, once you're coming off maternity, you need to be fit because it really has something to do with the job. So if it probably wasn't a criteria for the job to get back in after this, would you have continued? Yes. Or would you have started? Well, so like I said, I was actually into fitness before um, I joined the Army. Not as much. So it's definitely progressed since. So so for me, yes, I would have started working out after or get back into working out after I had him because for me, it's just, it's something that I love to do and that I'm passionate about. I don't really know if the army got me that way, but that's how I am now. (laughs) I mean, because I had, I I, I have been viewing you even before you had the baby Mm -hmm. um, and you were working out. Yep. Yeah, so, I figured. Yeah, it's it's just something that I'm passionate about and like seeing so many people, you know, having issues or whatever the case may be, it's kind of like a motivating factor for me because some people do ask me for advice and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's that that has stuff okay. to do with it as well, yeah. Okay. Did did it help you mentally? Yes. It did. Um, the oh. daycare that I, or not the daycare, but the gym that I go to has a daycare. Um, so okay. it kind of gives me 
uh, well, he can only be in the daycare for two hours. So it kind of gives me two hours to just focus on working out. And working out is just my relief from everything that happened that day. Because people at yeah, my job just, I don't know, <laughs> act like they don't have no sense. So, you know what I'm saying? The different stresses that I go through, whether it's, you know, from, because I have to get up at four o'clock in the morning to get him ready in order to get to drop him off to daycare and then I start work at 6 30 and I don't get off until probably about 4 35 p.m so it's it's a long drawn out day in my opinion so those two hours that I get to just kind of work out if he allows me to because sometimes he's cranky at daycare so I'm have to kind of tell me um he needs to come get your child because we don't know what to do with him but that, you know, you know that, that it's fine. But those two hours, I get to just de-stress while I'm at the gym and just focus on that. And it just takes me away from everything that happened that day or whatever the heck is going on in the world right now. Right. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> um, what are the sections that you target more than others? Um, Definitely my legs, more so because that's like my favorite part of my body. I try to, yeah. you know, give each and every muscle the attention that it needs. But I'll definitely say I'll probably focus more on my legs. But after mm-hmm. having, you know, my C-section and all that stuff, um, right. I try to focus more on my abs now. But mm-hmm. yeah, legs is definitely my... <laughs> my Okay, yeah. very nice. Re- meal prep. How is so, that done? Um, so the way I do it, because everybody does their own stuff differently. Um, it depends on what your focus is, whether you're trying to lose weight or bulk. In my case, I'm trying to lose weight, so I tend to eat less carbs, um, and more protein, because you know carbs kind of stick to you a little longer. Um, right, so I, right. I try to do more vegetables, and then you know, I'm Jamaican, so I love <laughs> my That's rice. Right. So. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have my rice. So, what I do instead is I change um, from the actual rice to probably like rice vegetables, whether it's broccoli or cauliflower, whatever the case may be. So, I do more of, of that, or I do like vegetable um, spaghetti or something like that. But mm. generally, I would start Sunday evening and I would get like my breakfast, the lunch, the dinner. That way when I come home, I'm not trying to cook or find fast food because that's going to stir you away from whatever your goals are. Mm. Um, right. So that's generally what I do. I try to do a lighter dinner that mm-hmm. way it's not sitting on me throughout the night because, mm. you know, you burn less calories at, when you're sleeping. Your burn calories just less. Right. Um, so that's that's basically what I do when I have little snacks and stuff. Um, whether it's peanuts or I do more um there, Greek that's yogurt, right. that's cool. uh stuff within that kind of like healthy category. So I'll start from mm. like I said, I start from Sunday and then I mm-hmm. cook all three meals and I pack my snacks and all that. And then generally like on Wednesday evening when right. I come home um I try to switch it up because like I tend to get bored if I eat the same thing every day so Wednesday right. I will right. come and I will cook something else um for that for the remainder of the week Sundays <laughs> I will kind of use that as my as they call it um yeah what's the word I'm looking for now oh that mercy <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's on yeah. the day that you put everything together in terms of what is it that you'd want specifically for the entire week. So, say you come home on a Wednesday. Well, I'm just throwing it out. Say you come home on the Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Instead of you know, thinking of what to prepare, you already would have known from like the Sunday. Uh, no, because honestly, my mind changes every day. Um, so generally, okay. like Wednesday, I kind of buy a lot of stuff when I go okay. to shopping. Um, right. so I buy like fish, chicken, um, you know, I even get like lamb and stuff like that because over here you can't really find goat. So lamb is actually a better choice. 
per se. Okay. So I'll, do, um, I'll do lamb. I don't really do too much beef, but I'll do like turkey. So I do ground turkey or something like that. So okay. that way I have more choices throughout the week. So everything's already at home. So all I have to do is say, okay, when someone I say, okay, all right, I'm going to do this for the week, whether it's fish or something like that. So I'll take that out. And then by the time I've come home, it's already salt and everything. So I just season and whatever, and then I prepare it and get it ready for the rest of the week. Mm, okay. Well, that, that's good. I mean, persons out there can now, you know, take up that, um, what is it called now? That scheduling. Yes. To do that. I don't know how you do it because by time I but by time I met that meal prep Sunday by Tuesday I want something else. That's what I'm saying. So I, I, well maybe you Tuesday, but I'm more like Wednesday because growing up I was kind of used to eating the same thing every day. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me it's a little bit more tolerable, but I know I'm gonna get bored trying to eat the same right. thing throughout the week. So over and over again, right? By, yeah, so I'll change it by Wednesday. And I mean, it might be hard for some people because at least Sunday you're home all day. So what you right. can do, <clears throat> if if it works for you or whoever you know is listening, right? Um, what you can do is prepare everything on Sunday. Okay. Right? So whether it be your fish, your your turkey, your chicken, whatever it is that you eat, um, because some people are vegetarians, so you know they might eat something different. Whatever the case, right? Is. Um. I okay. have done it before, but I find for me, I'd rather come home to Wednesday and cook the rest. You know what I'm saying? But right. um, you just cook everything on Sunday, and then you have your part, you know, your meals that you will eat from Monday through Wednesday or Monday, Tuesday, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. And then you just change it Thursday through Saturday, you're eating whatever it is that okay. you need. Yeah. If that's okay. what's easier for some people. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. sounds good sounds very good all right what we're gonna do right now before we come back we're gonna see if we can take a little break and we're gonna come right back shopping assistance jamaica takes the stress away from finding those items you can't locate or purchasing items online or locally from searching to purchasing to delivery shopping assistance makes it very easy contact us at 876-919-5195 or email us at shoppingassistance2015 at gmail.com find us on facebook at the shopping assistance on instagram at the shopping assistance ja and on twitter at shopping assist five welcome back to the unfiltered by jade we are speaking with sharika on fitness after childbirth and she was before before the break she was telling us about the meal prep and how exactly it's done well how exactly it is that she does it um and the changing up that she does midweek so that you know you can give yourself a little more variety for the rest of the week to eat what i want to know is pre-child workout and post-child workout give us feedback on that what's the difference what you see what's the difference in there is it that okay i i had asked you earlier what part you're focusing on is it the same as in are you focused on the same area that you were before child workout or after tell us the differences with the workout that you're doing um so pre pre child um i was focusing on my legs okay a lot more um but after i had him you know because you, <clears throat> your stomach kind of different after you have a baby so I, i've now i focus on my abs more or my core more than i did before i had him so i wasn't working out while i was pregnant only because i was just like sick all the time and everything mm. so um i didn't work out while i had him so i found that a lot of my upper body strength and all that was gone basically so it's basically mm-hmm. trying to build myself back up after mm. I'm trying to do more full body workouts and using more uh body weight than I did 
before because before I had him, I would use weights and stuff like that, and I would lift heavy. But after having him, you know, you kind of realize you can't really do the same things that you used to do. Right. You build yourself back up. So it's better to use body weight than to add, you know, weight that's not your own <clears throat> to kind of build yourself back up. Um, mm. Now I find myself doing baby workouts. I know I had to oh, yeah, talk to them. Yeah. I definitely see them. <laughs> I mean, as I said, I watch and see because I mean it's real motivating. I like seeing persons exercising because it also motivates me to get up and exercise. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I see from where you were at to where you're at now, and it's it's a big progress. Yeah. And I sometimes look at it and say, I have no idea how you stay consistent because <laughs> you have that to do, you have work to do, you have baby to take care of, and you're still so consistent in working out. Yeah. And there are many of us and I'm putting myself in there who ain't who <laughs> get up <laughs> and look at these things and I, we can't be bothered but yet still we want to get back a nice body but we can't be bothered so I mean you're doing so well at it just continue motivating us who are looking so that we can actually get up and go and do what we need to do and stop complaining <laughs> so <laughs> Before, before um we go, I want you to encourage the moms out there because there are so many moms who are probably afraid to do workouts or they, they're saying that, well, after the baby, their body's tired and um it's hard for them to actually get up and do that when they have baby to take care of or, you know, just to even motivate themselves after, after having the baby, I guess the effect of childbirth sometimes. Mm-hmm. So just motivate the moms out there and let them know it's okay. So, you know, everybody, it's it's all right to work out. I would definitely say, you know, to talk to your doctors and make sure you get the okay from them <clears throat> to right. say that you can work out. That's the biggest piece because, um, you know, your body might not necessarily be ready for you to handle that stuff. But as soon as your doctor says, you know, you're good to go, you don't even have to like go to the gym or anything if you don't want to. You can do there's a lot of home workouts out there. You know, if even if you do for 10, 15 minutes, maybe five, you know, because you might your child might be cranky. You just lift mm-hmm. them up one, two time, you know, and do a little something with them. You don't have to mm-hmm. do much. Even if, you know, dancing might help. That's a lot. That's a good way to lose weight as well. You're burning calories. So there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. But it's all about what you want and being dedicated to what, mm-hmm. whatever it is that you want to do. And that's how I find the motivation. So whatever is driving you is what, you know, I would use to, to, to kind of get started. But don't ever be mm-hmm. discouraged, you know, by whatever your body looks like or whatever the case may be. Because, you know, slow progress is better than no progress. And it, it may agree. take some time to get there. I see lots of people get discouraged because they don't see that overnight, um, you know, progress or whatever. It right, takes. right. But it's going to take time because, like myself, it took me a while to get to where I am now. So you're not going to see results overnight. Mm-hmm. But as long as you keep at it, you're going to see results. You might Your weight might fluctuate, but that's all a part of the progress. Do not lose sight of what it is that you want. I I listen to like most I listen to mo- <laughs> I listen to motivational quotes and all that stuff when I'm working out and that kind of helps me. It kind of drives me to push a little harder. And sometimes that's right. what you know what people need. Right. Yeah. That's good. So I want to thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it, and you know I'm sure mothers out there who are listening are going to appreciate what they're hearing you know, and will be motivated to even start working back out. Because, you know, everybody wants to feel good even after having a child. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if, if it is that you have a child and afterwards, you know, you look at your body and people, you know, sometimes judge our own, we judge our own body sometimes. And, you know, we don't feel good afterwards, but exercising and getting back to where we need to get back. So it also helps us. It helps yeah. mentally physically whatever it is emotionally everything because you know some yeah. people go through um what they call postpartum depression post-partum. right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Th- that helped me because i actually suffered from it within like my first month or two after having him 
And I found mm-hmm. that like working out really, really helps me with that. Nice. See there, guys. So exercise <clears throat> it helps with it helps with so many things out there. Yeah. So thank you so much, and to everybody listening, thank you so much for listening. And we'll definitely catch you again next week, Tuesday, on the Unfiltered by Jade. Thank you.